In 2002, I wrote a column about this pencil, which is known as the Eberhard Faber Blackwing 602. Now, eight years ago, this was possibly the most famous pencil in the world. It had been out of production for four years, and an incredible phenomenon was happening that people were offering 10, 20, sometimes $25 for this pencil that was actually worth about 25 cents because people just love writing with it. The news is that a fascinating company located in Stockton, California, called California Cedar Products, is coming back to the market, remanufacturing the Blackwing. It will no longer be known as the Everhart Faber Blackwing 602. It will be known as the Palomino Blackwing. And the product, which is initially on sale on the internet, is slightly different from this genuine Blackwing that I have in my hand. The color is slightly different. The trademark pink eraser will be white. And the lead, which is really what the pencil is about, it's, I'd almost compare it to butter. It's so soft when you write. The black wing, if you search the internet or search a library's clips, you'll find writers throughout history, at least throughout the 20th century, adore the soft feel of the black wing on paper. Eberhard Faber went out of business, was taken over by a smaller company called Sanford, which was in turn gobbled up by a vast conglomerate called Rubbermaid, which is familiar to all of you. And Rubbermaid stopped making these pencils because their crimping machine broke. A crimping machine is a machine that molds metal and to make this distinctive eraser. And once that broke, um, Rubbermaid decided to get out of making the black wing. And in 2002, and in many years afterwards, there was this panic among writers and black wing devotees. Where am I gonna get my pencil? And it turned out there were kind of funny little hordes and pockets of these black wings. One of them here in Boston, at the Boston Athenaeum, which is America's oldest library. It's a membership library. They were kind enough to loan me one of the 2,800 that they still have in their private stash. And after they saw my column in 2002, they sort of started selling a few of these, a few boxes of these, sometimes for $600, into the marketplace just as a sort of minor league uh, fundraising effort. Writers, artists, advertising people, Blackwing addicts everywhere are ecstatic that this great pencil is back on the market.